Hello parents and players. This is a video about the fundamentals of good hitting. The players need to gain muscle memory for the correct swing in order to be a good hitter. This will not happen overnight, but with persistent daily practice, the girls will become good hitters. The only way to become a good softball player is to practice on your own. The girls who become the best players work on their own every day. My daughter Danielle will show the fundamentals of a good swing. We'll go through a few different exercises and explain them in detail, and at the end of this video, I'll present a practice routine that I expect every player on the team to do every day. Hey girls, this is Danny here. A couple of my home run balls signed by all my teammates, and I'm going to show you how you can get yours too. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Pre swing motion. Don't stand there like a statue. Move around a little bit and relax. Now, when the pitcher starts a motion, let's start number one the load. Now, when we load, our hands are back, our weight is back on our right foot, and our left heel comes up. Number two, hip and shoulder turn. Number two, left heel drops. Hips and shoulders turn. Notice the hands don't drop. Number three, hip and shoulder turn continues. At this point, our shoulders and hips have turned completely, slinging our arms into motion. Our belly is facing the pitcher, and our right foot has twisted up on the balls of the feet. Number four, hammer time. Number four is the culmination of all the power we've generated up to this point. Hips and shoulders turning, slinging our arms into motion, and now snapping our wrists to hit the ball. Notice at the point of contact, our left palm is pointed straight down to the ground, and our right palm is pointed straight up to the sky. And the wrist snap is just like hammering a nail. Number five, follow through. Very important. Your bat should be traveling faster after you hit the ball than right when you hit the ball. All right, so this is called the fence drill. What you're gonna wanna do is get in your regular softball stance a little bit, little bit farther than the shoulder width, something like that. And then you're gonna take your bat and you're gonna put it right on your belly button until it touches the fence like this. And now, so when you swing, you shouldn't hit the fence. It may seem close, but if you're doing it right, you won't hit it. I didn't touch the fence. Also, if you hit the fence with the bat, it means you're releasing your wrists too early. Hey girls, uh, now we're gonna show you an exercise. We're gonna use a rubber mallet uh, to uh, learn how to hit properly. Uh, and the reason, and you might want to get a better one than this, uh, I used it on our floor and kind of got tore up, but it'll work. Because the reason we're going to use this is, and when you're in the hitting motion, right when you're hitting the ball, it's the same motion as if you were using a hammer with your wrists, both right and left hands. All right, so now Danielle's going to show you an exercise that you can do in your own home. Now get in your hitting stance and drop your right hand and swing with your left hand only. Snap into the ball just like you would hammer a nail. Now do the same thing with your right hand. Drop your left hand and snap into the ball just like you were hammering a nail. When we work off the tee, we need to follow the five principles of good hitting. Well, there's actually six if you consider the pre-swing motion. Then we have, number one, the load. Numbers two and three, hip and shoulder rotation. Four and five, wrist snap and follow through. When we work off the tee, we want to set the ball mid, low, and high to learn to take our hands straight to the ball. High? Or high, yeah, whatever. 
That's still a strike. Yep. It's under my shoulders. This is actually where I've hit most of my home runs is high balls. Yeah. In the next clip, follow Danielle exactly as she performs the five principles of good hitting. Do this at least 20 times before you continue your batting practice. One, two, three, four, five. Step two, wrist snap. Hit at least 20 balls with your left hand and 20 balls with your right hand. Step three, fence drill. Do this at least 20 times before moving on. Step four, tee work. Hit at least 20 balls at a mid-level, 20 balls low, and 20 balls high. In addition to your daily routine, Get to the batting cages at least three times a week, and while there, go through the cages at least three times. When we're in a game and you're up to the plate, your mental attitude should be that you expect a strike on every pitch. On every pitch, you should be coming into the number two position shown here, ready to hit every ball. Also remember, the swing is a continuous motion. When we load, we don't go back and stop and stand there still. We keep moving into the swing every time. No standing still at the plate. Hit the ball and touch them all. A moment in the sun. It's a